Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel and today in this video, we will learn how to connect Amazon S3 bucket to any PHP script or any project using Amazon API credentials. Because of if you have a social media website or any file uploading website where your users can upload lots of files, medias and lots of storage. That's why you need to buy external storage for your video making website and you will get unlimited storage for your video, image or any file storage website and it will be reduce your server cost or server space. As you can see, we have got some option to integrate S3 service on our website. You will get access key ID, access secret key s3 default region and s3 bucket and s3 url so these are common fields for any website and as you can see we have got another website and we have got some fields amazon access key and another fields so we need to create this information to put or integrate this service on our website so let's get started and before starting this video please like comment share and subscribe the youtube channel to get more updates so i want to integrate amazon s3 on this website and you can follow my previous video how to create ai writing website with openai C php script i will give you this link in the video description box below so first of all go to davency management then click on Davency settings then you will be find some different of fields so we need to collect these fields below from amazon aws so, okay so let's visit aws.amazon.com then click on this button sign into the console then you can log in or sign in your account or you can create a new account if you don't have any accounts but i have an account i wanna log in my account after logging your account then find and search for s3 from the dashboard then click on s3 okay we need to create a x3 bucket just click on create bucket then type your bucket name you can type any name you can type your website domain name or any unique name then select your reason so i now select this reason then and from object ownership select this second one then scroll down then uncheck this option and check this one i understand then scroll down and click on create button okay that's it then we have got our s3 bucket uh, and you have to copy this bucket name then paste it over here go back to your dashboard and paste it on your s3 bucket name field okay then select your region so we have selected this region uh, let's see this is our region make sure you have selected same region from your dashboard okay so open this bucket and click on permission and scroll down and we need to edit our bucket policy so i'll give you a code in the description box below then paste the bucket policy so just copy this bucket policy from here and go back to your amazon dashboard and place it over here okay bucket policy then type your bucket name so i wanna paste my bucket name so this is my bucket name and paste it over here that's it then click on save changes okay then click on your amazon username then click on security credentials and scroll down and go to access key sections then click on access key okay we need to create this access key then check this option and click on create access key okay then copy this access key then go back to your dashboard and paste it over here and again go to the amazon s3 and paste it over here as access secret key then we need to change our storage option go to the uh, default storage for ai image so select local server to amazon web services okay just select this one and save this option and that's all then you can test it so i want to test this option ai image then i want to generate an image and click on this image and i want to open this image and go to your amazon uh, s3 bucket and go to image folder and as you can see this image automatically uploaded to our amazon s3 bucket so if someone generate any image from your website or upload any multimedia file it will be automatically upload on your amazon s3 bucket through the api credential and sometimes you will find this field amazon s3 url so how you can find this uh, url and how you can get this url so you can follow my steps so i will show you just go back to your amazon s3 bucket and open this bucket from here so we have created this bucket and you can create any folder for example if you find or create folder for your media file 
or your images file. So I wanna create this image folder in this bucket. Let's click on create folder and copy this folder link. I wanna store all of media in this folder and check this option and click on copy URL because we wanna upload all of medias in the image folder and go back to your Amazon S3 URL option and paste it over here. And as you can see, this is our bucket name and this is our bucket URL. Okay. Then type your bucket folder name and that's all. And following the same process, you can create any bucket credentials and bucket information to integrate your any project or any script.